All right, guys, Jared Littner. So uh, we're up here at St. Lawrence River. Uh, we went out on the river today, had Corey fishing with me. Uh, we had a great time, covered a lot of water. You know, these fish are moving around. We're post-spawn, we're in middle, middle of summer. Last week I spent, spent up here in a tournament and a lot of the areas that I was catching them in, the fish have moved. And, and that's due to either lack of current, the current changed, different weather conditions. So we just kind of experimented, tried a lot of different depths, a lot of different drifts, uh, a lot of different baits. Um, ultimately, we ended up catching them on a couple different techniques. We ended up catching a pretty nice one, uh, close to a five pounder. Corey had a giant pike, 12 to 15, 16 pounds, big pike. But I was too lazy to get the net, so I apologize for that. Thought I was in the zone to catch a big smallmouth, so I didn't want to deal with that mess. But anyway, here are the couple of rod setups that we ultimately caught the majority of our fish today. Um, to start off with, this morning I was Carolina rigging. Um, this here is the new seven foot six. It's called the Big Worm Rod. Patrick Walters helped design it. It's in the Tatua Elite lineup. Like I said, seven foot six. I just like it because I can make a long cast. It's got super power and I love the cork grips on this thing. This is a new addition to the Tatua Elite line. And for me, I love it on the Carolina rig. It's something that I've kind of been learning more and more about when I'm smallmouth fishing. So what I did was I'd run a main line of 20 pound shooter. And then I'd put on a lead weight, since we're up here just kind of screwing around. If I was in a tournament setting, I'd put on an Eco Pro three quarter ounce tungsten weight, but this here is just a lead three quarter ounce weight. And then an Eagle Claw makes this. It's a little Carolina clicker is what they call it. Um, and that just kind of helps protect, protect that knot as well as make some noise. And then a 50 pound rated barrel swivel, attach that to a 17 pound Sunline Defire uh, leader, which when I was originally Carolina rigging, I was like, man, I gotta have eight or 10 or 12 pound line. I was breaking off a lot, getting hung on the zebra mussels and just having a lot of problems with it. The monofilament, this defier, will help this bait float up more and keep that knot and your your main, you know, your leader line out of those rocks and help prevent a lot of snags and breaking off and things like that. So that's 17 pound. And then I got a three-aught Trocar EWG hook. And here's the meat and potatoes right here. This here is a 3.5 inch jackal chunk craw. And those smallmouth cannot resist it. You're dragging it around, you know, those shallower. Corey and I throughout the day were experimenting with a lot of different rods, a lot of different reels, but ultimately it's kind of funny. We ended up fishing the same rod, the same reel. Uh, glad we had a couple different options there, but uh, start off with the rod. This is the brand new Tatula Elite AGS. This is a seven foot four Cody Meyer versatile rod. For this type of fishing, you know, when you're dragging a big heavy weight, this here is a half ounce EcoPro tungsten full contact drop shot weight, and we were throwing some 3 eighths, depending on the depth we were fishing and the amount of current that was in those areas. Um, but you want a rod that's not too limber where you're not gonna detect those bites, and if you do, it doesn't have enough backbone to get into them. So the depth we were fishing, this was the right rod for the situation. Then it's paired up with a brand new MQLT. So LT is, is you know, light and tough, um, this replaces the old Daiwa LT. They improved it, added some air rotor features, lighter in weight, super smooth. Uh, drag is really, really great. The most important thing in smallmouth fishing, when the fish goes to surge, if you have a drag that sticks, more than likely on this lighter line, you're gonna break them off. So you want a drag that just is just so smooth and natural coming off the reel when you're engaged with a big smallmouth it doesn't jerk and doesn't stick and pop your line. So super impressed with that. What we both had going on was the brand new Sunline Overwatch, 12 pound braid, um, and then attached to an eight pound sniper leader. Um, and, you know, depending on the depth we were fishing, you could have anywhere from a 20 to 30 foot leader. Now, if we were fishing shallower, I'd go anywhere from a say an eight to 15 foot leader, but the depth we were fishing, that 20 to 30 foot leader was great, tight FG knot, and then getting down to the brass tacks here, a Trocar number one drop shot hook. Corey was throwing the 3.8 rhythm wave prism shad color. I was actually throwing um, the eye shad a little bit, 
Um, caught some on a, a rhythm wave as well. And then, like I mentioned about the EcoPro tungsten full contact drop shot weight, half ounce, three eighths ounce, just depending on what we were doing. Um, so, like I said, today was a little bit, you know, not what I expected. Um, St. Lawrence is full of fish, you know, smallmouth and largemouth, pike, uh, musky, walleye, perch, everything out there. And uh, it was just a different kind of day, but we're here for a few more days. If you, if you haven't seen this vlog, make sure and watch it. Make sure and enter the gear giveaway. We're still giving away some awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get rigged up, get after it tomorrow and, and uh, catch some real big ones by the end of this week.